Hey, what's going on, Baywolf Nation? It's I'm Baywolf back in it with another video. This is a quick video. My SXR 1500, I'm actually getting it ready to go riding. But I've been talking about how I bought the Map Tuner uh, license. So I use this, I've been using this with all my skis with tuning. So I got this um, one tune that I'm running in it. It'd be like for a, a stock class with racing. You can run premium fuel. This thing stock runs regular fuel. So this runs premium fuel. You only need to do is put like an intake air filter pretty much. Um, I have to have a ride plate. I got the stock intake rate, got the Reva Racing sponsons. And um, there's not much more you need to do with that. The biggest thing is having a tune where it's using premium fuel, because that's what I've been using since I uh, bought it. And then the person I bought it from was using the same thing. So I figured to quickly show you guys how this whole process works with installing it. So you have to unplug this right here, and it plugs right in there. The cable is specific for the SXR 1500. You gotta connect the leads with the battery, first positive, then negative. And then you add vehicle. So what you gotta first do is put get the license on the thing. If you have a Mac, you can get this uh, software called Parallels. It makes, transforms your, when you run it, makes it run Windows on your Apple computers. So you first put the, then you get the whole thing, you gotta download it, you put the license key in, then connect it to this where it stores the stock tune after you do that and then you go back into that software uh, with the map tuner x to upload the tune you want to run in the ski and i think they just came out of the update with the tune with that so uh you know have to load that back into once the the next time i go riding it so here's the vehicle already selected next it says it'll take several minutes But why I like doing this route here is, yep, you could send it out to somebody, but here you can do it all yourself. They got a bunch of different tunes for different things. So later on, if I want to do more stuff, I own the license and I can do it as many times as I want, changing tunes and whatnot. It'd be cool if this could show on this how many hours you have. I mean, if that could be able to do that, I think that's like the one thing this thing would need to have is where it show. Okay. It already says it's selected. Why are we going to... I think that's when you have to do the ad vehicle. I haven't used this thing for a while, so... Okay, so you got say okay there, and go home. Programming. Here we go. Yeah, you go right to programming. Add vehicles when you first do it. And the cool thing is it loads the stock tune, and they have the stock tunes on file too. So this is what the class is. It's the SXR stock class eighty eight hundred. We're gonna load, press that, click next. They recommend this parts, but they're not mandatory. I put the stock intake, I was running a Texas watercross intake rate, but the problem was I didn't like how the thing was, was like porpoising out of the water, plus two, there's been a lot of pine needles and debris way underwater, because the current's so strong where I ride. It's thus why I don't uh, didn't want to run that anymore. But the cool thing is this tune, you're running now the ski on premium fuel. So you cannot go back to regular unless you put the stock tune in. But definitely look them out. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm just saying what I like because I can do all this and do it from home. I don't have to go send anything out. The problem when you're mailing stuff Something could get lost and it could be super expensive to replace it. You never know what could happen. Somebody could accidentally drop it. I don't know. The thing staying in the ski doesn't have to come out. And if you look at it, it's probably not that hard to get out, but man, I tell you, it'd be a little complicated. It's like right underneath here. I think one bolt, you probably want to be able, you know, you probably could take it out, but the hassle is you have this, you don't have to. 
because I've seen some of the ones out there and I haven't really seen any like they're telling what parts you need. That's one thing I like about with the tunes that Reba has, they kind of give you an idea of what you need to um, to run. Somebody had this where this thing moves a lot. I don't know why. Let me bump it. There's a ski. This keeps moving. I used to have an R&D, like a spacer, rise it up to take a weight. And for some reason, this moves a lot when I ride. Oh, I got the thing almost loaded up. It's not that long, it's not that short, but hey, it gets the job done. But I'm excited. Hopefully I get enough time before it gets dark to get out and ride in this thing. But I figured I've been wanting in a couple videos to load this up, and I'm like, I am riding today with putting this in before I leave. Nice thing it shows how many bolts you got in there. The weird thing is this thing always has to stay. I haven't had the thing on a trickle charger for a while, but definitely the battery gets drained. I'm probably going to quickly, as soon as I'm done with this, throw it right on the charger real fast. And because um, I always want to have this off, but you have to turn the power on too. Almost there. We're almost there. Nice thing with this tune, you really didn't have to do any mods. So this would be more like an actual, like somebody who's racing would run a tune like this. I just want to run on something on premium fuel. Because that's what I've been running in the ski. All done, press next. And that's it. I don't think it has anything where you can check. See, you can only check fault codes. I don't even think you can, can't say they can't read. Yeah, that's the only thing that kind of sucks. Let's see what they have to say. Diagnostics. Yeah, that sucks. I wish they could show more of what the um, specs are on the vehicle. But that's basically it. You new channel, hit the subscribe button. I hope this helped you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Bay Wolf Nation.